Hey, what is up, Internet? Kyle here with Chris, with hey, Tom. Hey, Coach. Uh, so, Origin Brews FC. So, this is actually my first video underneath my new banner. So, now that I'm rebranding the channel, Nothing to Soccer, uh, this is the first video. And if you can tell, we're all kind of matching here. Dave, um, Dave's a killer. <laughs> Dave is a killer. And uh, we forgot the foil uh, for anyone that's going to get this reference. But uh, so what's going on today is the Pride is actually putting on a charity event, a uh, charity bowling event, the Full Kit Wanker Bowl. So all the proceeds from this event are going to actually go towards the West End St. Vincent de Paul uh, charity. So for those that don't know, uh, SC Cincinnati is building their stadium in the West End of Cincinnati. And we wanted to make sure that we are partnering with all, with pretty much the entire community in that area uh, as we become neighbors essentially with this stadium. Uh, so that's one of the big things that we're doing here for this bowling tournament is to make sure that we are able to provide some support to the charities in that area. Um, so we're super excited to be able to help out this community. And so essentially what's happening is teams could buy in, teams of four. Um, Mike, who as you can see is in the car with us right here, uh, his spot. Uh, unfortunately he has to go to Nashville right afterwards so he couldn't ride down with us. But he'll meet us down there. Uh, so it's, it's us four and then what happens is teams of four, you get two hours of bowling and then what, it's your best score, uh, your best game? I have no idea. I think, I think that's what I read. And then, uh, but then on top of that, they were asking everyone to dress up in their full soccer kits. So hence the matching and craziness. And then you get additional pins added on to your score at the, you know, the end of your bowling. We do a little different up in the North Coast. We, we do. Um, and kind of our idea uh, was, you know, since we're all big hockey fans, and we're from the north, like we are really embracing the whole northern aspect of it. We are soccer bottoms, hockey tops, and what better way to, to honor, go hockey? To honor the history of hockey. And then dressing as a Charleston <laughs> cheese from Slapshot. So we are all the Hanson brothers, and uh, this should be a good event. I'm excited. I'll play the game through a couple fights. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, so we're, if we're not winning, we can at least. Take a couple others down. True. Rough them up. So we're listening to the effing song. That's what we're going to do today. Um, no, it should be a really good event. I'm super excited to see what everyone else is dressed up as. And we should get 50 extra pounds. Yeah, or, right? Or and, and just a lot of, I don't know, just craziness, I think, today. Um, so it should be yeah, just a good time. So we're headed down 75 right now. And we should be down there in a little bit and get the show on the road. Let's go. All right, so we are here at Stony Lanes here in Norwood, and as you can see, our Hanson crew is walking in full gear. Should be a fun little event. Where we've already gotten quite a few uh, looks here, so uh, this is gonna be perfect. So they kind of have us over here next to the bar, kind of our own little private alley for the Wanker Bowl. Uh, I saw the sign up there in the front. So yeah, they have it set up really nice for us over here. Got some Premier League there on the big screen. Everyone looks everyone looks fantastic in all their wanker gear. Should be a fantastic day. All right, so we're getting all shoot up here, about ready to go. I'm gonna kind of take you through it quick. So everyone got some Bayern Munich, all sorts of different kits and jerseys here. Got some of the classic SC Cincinnati kits. Got warm ups. Got, got Pete with the captain's armband and everything. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> so everyone, Marshall gets a strike. Tom got oh, me, me and Tom both got six. But uh, Mike and Chris, Mike and Chris are strikes first rolls. All right.
as you can see here, I don't know if you'll be able to hear me or not between like all the noise, but a uh, ton of different kits and everything represented. Everything from like national kits to old FC Cincinnati kits. It's a lot of fun having being had here. And yeah, really good turnout for a great cause. And look at that, Mike picking up the spare. Here's the game one scores. I was able to break 100, 107. It's like Mike won by one pin, beat Marshall 128 to 127. And then we have Tom, 73. Uh, a lot better than I thought I was gonna do, but uh, still got some more bowling to do. So we are obviously back home from the event and what a blast that event was. The turnout was fantastic. We had all 12 lanes that we were given completely filled with teams of four. So awesome turnout. It was really cool to see how many people actually came out in the full kits. We had all sorts of jerseys from national team to MLS to random European clubs. There's just so much represented and it was just cool to see like the unique and fun ways that teams would take things. And yeah, it's just an awesome event and the turnout I think was just fantastic and as far as actually raising money for the actual charity i don't know how well you could actually hear the clip of our vice president for the pride but we actually raised over a thousand dollars for uh saint vincent uh saint vincent de paul in the west end so that is absolutely amazing so happy we, we were able to raise that much money uh for the charity with our new neighbors in the west end and we can't wait to be able to partner with them again uh through more charity events that we're doing but as far as you know like personal bowling our team actually came in third and i did didn't do nearly as bad as I thought I was going to. Normally I need, you know, the actual bumpers to actually keep it somewhat in the actual lane, but 
not, not too bad today. You know, I broke 100 both games that we played. And actually, the third game, we started one, and unfortunately, we only had two hours, so we kind of ran out of time. But my third game, I was already up to, I think, 110 pins in the seventh frame. I think it was somewhere around there. So that one would have been even better. But, uh, yeah, overall, fantastic event. Um, hopefully, you guys are kind of getting to see what the Pride does. And hopefully, this is enticing you if you are in the Cincinnati area, if you're an SD Cincinnati fan, uh, to kind of come out and check out some of the events that we're doing. Uh, like always, membership information is in the link in the description below. We would love to have everyone uh, join who would like to. And we just have a ton of events, a ton of stuff going on for this season. I cannot wait to get this season started. I can't wait to continue the vlog series. Like I said, I'm doing quite a few away days. Can't wait to videotape those. And my video next week should be really cool. One of our partners that the Norton collaborates with has actually invited us out to be part of the actual production process of one of the collaborations we do. Uh, so that's gonna be really cool. And then later in the evening is our scarf release for the main pride. Uh, so that's gonna be awesome as well. We're renting out the third floor at Molly Malone's. Um, gonna have all the scarves available. Any members can actually come pick up their scarves, pick up their membership packet. If you got like the t-shirt and the flag and a couple other extra things that we offer this year in the membership packages. And then we also have the Norton scarves in, I have one in my hand right here is a little tease. Uh, so these will be available next Saturday night as well at Molly Malone's. I will have some information about the scarf release down in the description below. Uh, like I said, there'll also be the membership links. Uh, if you guys want to sign up, you guys can sign up, come out to Molly Malone's and pick up your scarves and get ready for the season. Uh, but outside of that, uh, like I said, the event was fantastic. Thank you to everyone that came out and made it what it was. And I think that's gonna do it for me this evening. Well, thank you guys so much for checking out these videos. Uh, this was a lot of fun to put the first Orange and Brews FC little video together. Uh, so definitely be on the lookout for a couple next week. And let's get the season started.